Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. The first reports say Adolf Hitler is dead. Just about an hour and a quarter ago, the German radio said that Hitler had died fighting with his men against the Russians at his command post in Berlin. Could this really be Hitler's hour of reckoning? Almost immediately, conflicting accounts dashed the world's hopes. The Russian press scoffs at the notion that Hitler died fighting and insists he committed suicide. The Americans claim Hitler was ill. There are some reports that Hitler died as the result of a stroke suffered several days ago. There are other reports that Hitler was not in Berlin at all, that he's been hiding out and that he may still be alive, that the German story of his death is only a ruse to prevent him to escape. One thing will solve the mystery. Hitler's corpse. Yet days pass and the Russians produce no body. Six days after the battle ends, the Germans officially capitulate. The world celebrates. Still, the Red Army does not come up with a captive, a cadaver, or solid proof of Hitler's end. Then Russian soldiers summon cameramen to this scene near Hitler's headquarters. But again, high hopes are crushed. Their doctors came to the conclusion that it was what they call a bad double of Hitler, and not Hitler himself. If that is so, then all trace of him has disappeared. The reports of the double heighten suspicion that the real Hitler is not dead, but has escaped. And the unidentified man is a plant to allow him to flee. A month after the Germans surrender, the okay. Soviets finally make an announcement. And it stuns the world. It's got a glare. Russia's top general, Georgi Zhukov, says his men have found no sign of Hitler. The German dictator may have flown away at the last moment. What's more, Zhukov says, the Nazi chief married before he disappeared. It is the first the public learns of Eva Braun. There had been a real conspiracy of silence. Only a few people around Hitler, those people who were in his immediate entourage, knew about her existence and their relationship. He had always made this great point, you know, that he was sacrificing his life, he was giving himself to Germany, he was married to Germany. So the concept that the Führer has actually married produced almost disbelief. The revelation raises talk of an escape to a fever pitch. To many, marriage is not the last act of a doomed man. Doubts about Hitler's death invade the highest levels of the U.S. government. Not long after American commander Dwight Eisenhower meets Zhukov in Berlin, he tells one reporter, Hitler may still be alive. There was a great deal of confusion. The Allies didn't know where he was, and therefore didn't know what to believe. It seems to the world at large that a horrible nightmare may have come true. One of history's greatest villains has fooled the Russians, cheated the world, and escaped. <clears throat> There's a reason I did this uh, little video, and it probably didn't show out very good. And that is because um, people seem to buy anything. Anything they're told, they they go for it. Um, it it's really sad. Um, I'm going to link this 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 little website here that tells you uh, down here at the bottom. It really has something good. And and I was just looking up all the false flags and what we're going through right now. But here's the final conclusion that says, I think Hitler never died in, in 1945. I think he had felt, he had someone die for him. The dead Hitler pictures are interesting. I heard that Hitler had three doubles, and the Russians found one of them dead in a water tank in the bunker. It doesn't look like the same man in the two pictures of Hitler's bodies. They did find someone dead in Chancellery Square, 
This is the gentleman in the two separate pictures, but not Hitler. I'm quite certain that the two pictures provided of his so-called corpse are of two separate men, and that his real body has been hidden by some government. I think the Hitler on the left looks kind of Chinese. Until I see DNA results, I won't believe it. I was always one of those people that believed <clears throat> that he had shot himself, but after seeing the pictures and other facts, I have changed my mind. I believe that Hitler had men who looked like him, killed one of them, and ran off like Bin Laden is doing. Now, the reason I'm posting this is because it seems like even the alternative meeting, uh, media is buying anything or trying to put anything together. Empires do things to save their ass. Um, uh, so I'm just showing what what happened and, and the fever that went around about Adolf Hitler. No one, I mean, only until I guess my generation came around did we believe he committed suicide. It was still up in the air. No one really knew. The bodies didn't match. Russia didn't agree. America didn't agree. And now they teach it in our history books. So I just want y'all to know how false flags work. This is just a stupid... Well, maybe not as stupid. This is just a little thing I thought I'd put together to show how some false flags work. And over years, how how our media, our ministry of propaganda, um, starts making you believe this. And even puts some of the stuff in history books telling you this is their version of history, his story. So, the victor always writes history. So I just wanted to get to some truth, and this has to do with the Boston Marathon in my mind, because I see people running around saying this and that and, and other things, and I'll do a video later on that. Peace, everybody.